if you talk about the design of the car, we always have the challenge to link it to the rest of the family, but as well we would like to give each and every car its own characteristics. In the case of the Michne Cross Turismo, we really put the focus on trying to combine different uh, vehicle characteristics, as well shown what you can do with the car. If you have a business meeting in the city, just take the car, but if you decide in the evening to go out to the beach or in the mountains, no problem, this car can handle this as well. So that was really the focus for this concept. We wanted to visualize very obviously that this is a new technology. So for example, uh, on the front with the, with the headlamps, this is very characteristic for this type of car. The light band in the rear is much more than a tail lamp. It is as well used to communicate between the user and the car. The real light band indicates as well if the car is charging or not. We intend as well to use it uh, to communicate with, with other people in the traffic. If you take the front, the fenders are higher than the hood. Now with a car that doesn't have this huge block of iron anymore in the front, we get even more freedom. On the interior, I think the challenge is even bigger to connect the old world with the new world or the future. But for example, if you take the instrument, we have this driver-oriented uh, instrument. The graphic is uh, resembling, let's say, the old instruments and gives you really this feeling to be, as a driver, still the most important person in the car. A lot of people were surprised by the concept itself, so I think we managed to, to do something in a way, something new.